we were discussing about azygous vein okay the formation is done how azygous is formed azygous formed by this ascending lumbar vein fused with subcostal vein and when azygous is moving up it's also receiving the posterior intercostal vein posterior intercostal veins these posterior intercostal vein right side of chest posterior right side of chest not left side okay posterior right side of chest and two posterior this is agus vein two posterior the nine nine directly going the two posterior the first and second also going also the the first two posterior intercostal vein the first two posterior intercostal arteries the branches come from subclavian but the veins not going to subclavian vein the veins going to azygous on the right side the first two first two first and second these two posterior intercostal first two posterior intercostal vein they enter to azygous vein they enter to azygous now move on the left side the left side is intercostal vein a uh, subcostal vein and ascending lumbar vein fused to form one vein ah this vein is moving half not not moving much much higher it moving half length of the chest wall chest posterior chest is a hemi azygous is a hemi azygous hemi azygous receive lower posterior intercostal on left side is hemi hemi azygous then connected to azygous hemi azygous connected to is the hemi azygous hemi azygous. this hemi azygous the level is lower level is the inferior hemi azygous inferior hemi is a half half length of azygous hemi azygous the upper veins on the left side left posterior intercostal upper side left posterior intercostal this vein fuses to form another vein and this vein is superior hemi azygous this vein is superior hemi azygous inferior hemi azygous superior hemi azygous so it is known as superior hemi azygous now it's clear from both sides is azygous system present on right side posterior chest hemi azygous system present on left side posterior chest the upper to the first posterior the upper to posterior intercostal veins upper to posterior intercostal veins these two posterior to first and second they they're not going to hemi azygous system they enter to these two vein the first two vein enter to i can't draw here brickes valley now brickes valley vein i already show uh, i already show you in the last lecture uh, the brickes valley in the last video the brickes valley vein is on left side the left side is so important mcq left side posterior to intercostal left side posterior to which posterior first two posterior intercostal vein first two posterior intercostal vein now enter to left side break the left break is valid left break is valid and is azygous vein this azygous vein moving up moving up upside it receiving is a diaphragm just to avoid confusion i change the color of diaphragm is a diaphragm is a diaphragm there or oh, this this diaphragm i draw for uh, a bit confusion here this diaphragm i draw for the upper picture we discussing here is agus hemi is agus system we already at the level of the level of neck the back side the brachial phallic this is agus system this is agus system it's not a diaphragm it's diaphragm for the upper vein okay okay this is agus is now come back this is agus vein enter to going up and enter to brachiocephalic okay brachiocephalic vein this brachiocephalic vein right side and right brachiocephalic vein this is agus vein entered this is agus vein entered to right brachiocephalic 
and hemi azygous both hemi azygous first enter to azygous first enter to azygous first then azygous going to so it's mean the posterior chest wall the real vein the main vein part posterior chest wall posterior chest wall main vein is azygous the posterior intercostal veins present on right side directly going to azygous and on left side half going 